beautiful people the keep climbing family i hope everybody is blessed well and healthy and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life just here to spread that love have some fun with y'all see something new learn something new hear something new y'all know the vibes man and a <laughs> we got english differences among four countries america british you Australia and oh man, Canada, Canadian. <laughs> and what's crazy is there's so many family members on this channel. And if you're not a part of the family, hit that subscribe button. But there are so many family members that keep common family members on this channel that live in these beautiful countries. These four beautiful countries, y'all. So, hey, we're going to have some fun today. And I want to thank Terry for sending me this video right here. And um, so many other uh, video requests that we're going to be checking out and getting into. So, let's have some fun. But um, I will leave the original link in the description box down below if y'all want to check it out for y'all self. But let's enjoy this together. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, four beautiful uh, young ladies. And um, we're going to check out English differences amongst these four countries. So I'm guessing each young lady is from the, a different, the different country. So let's, let's check it out. Let me stop talking and be quiet. <laughs> but hey, if y'all are new here, drop a like for me and hit that subscribe button. Join the Keep Climbing family. And hey, we're just here to spread love and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all got to die. So let's have some fun and let's learn something new. Hello. Hi, I'm Callie. I'm from the USA. Hi, I'm Cathy and I'm from England. Hi, Eng I'm Mia and I'm from Australia. Hi, I'm Let's Carrie and I'm from Canada. So okay. which country's English is the most different from your country? Maybe America's English mm. is going to be the most different from my country because I think we're Canadian English, we still have like some words or like phrases yeah. we'll say similar and then Australian, I think we have like a lot of similarities even with some like slang and yeah, like abbreviating words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think for like British English is definitely the most different from... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like that too. British, Brit, because I, again, we, we've checked out a couple videos um, when it comes to the accent and the, the, the language and the, the slang and what 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 means what you know what i'm saying and i always felt like you know what i'm saying british language was 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 com completely kind of off and different from the american english you know what i'm saying i was going to say the same maybe i was between <laughs> australian and british english but after doing some previous videos with Lauren, it was like I couldn't understand yeah, some of the expressions at all that they were doing. Of course, I know it's different region by region. Yeah, yeah. it just opened my eyes how totally different um, that it can be. So yeah, I think British English is most. I feel caught a bit because geographically, I'm close to America, so I sound American. But historically, you know, we're all part of like the Commonwealth, so we right. have similar vocabulary expressions, mm -hmm. some slang, so I almost, I guess I would say Australian would be mm. the most different. So I was going to say like, do you get exposed to like any Australian English or slang like outside of Australia? Because <laughs> there's That's not many. True, it's probably just from shows, <laughs> like TV. Because right. Australia is so isolated. No, we're I, I like mean, totally outside of the world. Not really though. Like, we not are. Not like isolated, like people don't go. But no, like, not that I, we don't, no, yeah. Like, I, like ge geographically, you're, there you go, you're yeah. isolated. Right, true. right. <laughs> In the US, we would say cookies. Uh, Cookie. This is like <laughs> kind of conflicting uh -oh. for me because the one that's in the picture exactly is a cookie. <laughs> However, if there were not like chocolate chips or some kind of chunk mm. inside of the biscuit, then it would just be a biscuit. Oh. So that picture is a cookie. Without the chunks, it would be a biscuit. So without the chocolate chips, <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me now. It's called a biscuit. So with the chocolate chips, it's a cookie. Oh, wow. All right. I like that. I love that right there. That's interesting. But I know that really? America says cookie for all of them. Yeah. Oh. It's like very dependent on the chunk. I'm trying to think of like <laughs> different kinds of cookies to ask you about. <laughs> so have you seen a sugar cookie? A sugar cookie, a peanut butter cookie is called a biscuit in the UK, huh? Oh, man. 
Oh, my beautiful British people. I love y'all. Oh, man. Y'all so sexy. Yeah, actually, Australia is the exact same. Like, yeah. that specific one is a cookie, like a chocolate, chocolate chip cookie, but other biscuits are biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Canada, that's a cookie. In the US, we have a very mm. specific thing that we would call a biscuit. It's like a bread roll, right. but it's very it's like flaky. Scone, right? it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Do you have a word for this? Because it's not exactly a scone, because we also have scones. Like, scone. we could differentiate a scone in a biscuit. Yeah. So, Maybe. what would you call a biscuit? We don't have them then. Because yeah. we've only got sweet scones. Maybe I'll just yeah. say, oh, those American biscuit things. <laughs> <laughs> those things. <laughs> Interesting. In the US, we would say mailman. In the UK, we call it the postman. Postman. We also call it the postman or posty for short. Like some people do say posty, but it's not super common. I mean, I think it's, we do say postman every now and then. Or like, you know, like going to the post office. But yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a tricky one. Y'all comment down below. My Americans, what we say, post? Do we say postman? I mean, uh, po we 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 say, we say mail. We do say mailman. I ain't gonna lie to you. We do say mailman, but every now and then we do slip out postman. You think? I think I probably said it once out of my twenty three years of life. I think I've said it once, at least once, because I I used to go to the post office a lot. I've never called a postman a posty. <coughs> so mm. yeah. In Canada, that's a postman. Like postman. In the U.S., people would maybe not use this as much but we would know what it is because we say post office yeah. Right. right yeah post, post office. office yeah 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 like i just said i just said that too strange to me posty is very strange to me but it's very cute <laughs> and to add like an ie onto yeah. words yeah. like yeah. toasty prezzy yeah. Yeah. it sounds cute yeah it does sound cute <laughs> we do that sometimes too but in like the ie at the end of the stuff and i yeah. think if we said posty we'd be thinking about like the post office Mm. Like I'm just going to the posty to like, but I feel like that's a really like slang thing, and maybe from where I'm from, mm. slang mm. like the UK. So yeah, posty. I think post office. I think I would have no so. clue. I'd be like <laughs> post, post it, post Malone, so post like, it, like post Malone, or snack or something. Oh. something, something oh. uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, but mailman is is it weird to say mailman? It sounds so American. It sounds yeah. so American. Does yeah. it? It sounds so American. Yeah. If one of my friends back home said mailman, I'd be like. <laughs> Just judge them. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Accent In differences. US, we would say my favorite movie is Harry Potter. In the UK, we would say my favorite movie is Harry Potter. In Australia, we would. I love that. I love. I love the uh, Harry Potter. That sounds so sexy. Oh. Uh, I gotta go down to the UK, y'all. That y'all got that sexy. Man, my British people got that sexy. Harry Potter. That sounds so sexy. Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? That sounds so sexy. Let me, let me stop though. Let me stop. I know some of y'all done gave uh done already put a dislike on the video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all done already left a dislike. I know I should I just I should just shut up. I'm sorry would say my favorite movie is Harry Potter. In Canada, we'd say my favorite movie is Harry Potter. I like Yeah, I tell you, I knew we was going to be more similar to Canada. But Australia sounds sexy too. <laughs> oh yeah, Harry Potter. Yeah. The way that Potter. Harry Potter. 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 Yeah. I expected it to be a little bit more strong from you, like Harry Potter. Right. <laughs> you know, because in the movie it's very strong. It's like Harry Potter. I was thinking, should I really like play it up? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Overpronounce it, like, Harry Potter. Yeah. But I guess like maybe Southerners would say it like that. Yeah, my accent is like the E R is more like an E, like Harry Potter. Mm. I think that might be like a normal. Mm. You yeah. say the T's too, yeah. Harry Potter. I, it seems like the rest of us did like the D sound yeah, more. Harry yeah, Potter. Right, right. Like, yeah, yeah, right? True. right. But you said the T, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Is it usually like that? Like water? Yeah, water, mm. butter, potter. <laughs> like it's all, mm. yeah, D fied. It's got like a mixture of like the way that we all kind of say words because you guys say like the D mm -hmm. instead of T right. and then like I'll put like the E or the R at the mm -hmm. end but you guys really pronounce the R so it feels like so we're just like, like stupid <laughs> 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 like, mix it all together <laughs> <laughs> so, 
of it. You've got the dirt, but you've got like the softer ending. Yes. And there's like a mixture of the uh, way that we so just sounds so weird. Like now I think about it, yeah. Like water. Harry Potter. <laughs> Ooh, Potter was, was really good? good. Okay. Yeah, Potter was convincing. Can I hear it one more time? Potter. 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 <laughs> Wait, what? Potter. It sounds the same. Potter. Yeah, it's, it's close. <laughs> Say Harry Potter together. Harry Potter. Mmm, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. In the US, I would say it's more common to say, what are you gonna do this Tuesday night? Mm. In the UK, we would say, what are you gonna do this Tuesday night? In Australia, we'd say, what are you gonna do this Tuesday night? In Canada, we'd say, what are you gonna do this Tuesday night? We're all the same. Okay, they're right, the same, they're the same, the same, look at them, gotta have our little similarities. I do. do. Do you say Tuesday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. I, I say Tuesday. 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 Like Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Oh. Tuesday. Tuesday. I ain't no, Kennedy. What the hell? Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. Say that too. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. You're Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. Not Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Tuesday. So that's the big difference there. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. Some people in like my area would say Tuesday, like Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I Tuesday. That's like a, like a, maybe like a Liverpool thing. Mm. Tuesday. My dad says it Tuesday. I usually say I'm dead. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm dead. dead. Or just I'm really tired. Yeah. Uh, in the UK, I mean, yeah, I guess you'd say I'm dead or say I'm knackered, I'm shattered, or we'd just be like, I am f Yeah, exactly. The same. <laughs> like, I'm always like, to friends here, I'm like, oh, I can't be f and they're like, yeah. what? <laughs> like, can't be bothered. Yeah. Just more of like a. Yeah, like I literally cannot I, I would handle it at all. I would I, think like uh, you're screwed. Yeah. You're, yeah, yeah you have yeah. a big problem. It's not like I, I can't be bothered to like do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna guess. Does it mean to make make a U turn? Or to do Ah, Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui. Good job. We say that too, like to make a Yui. Yep, oh, Yui. Yeah. yeah, Yui, but Chuck a Yui. Oh, Chuck a Yui. Chuck -a -yui. Chuck -a -yui. Yeah. <laughs> How about, would you guys know what it means if I said to hang a Roger? I, 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 I learned this, <laughs> I think. Hang a Roger. I before said hang a Louie. No, I didn't. Uh, turn right. It's right? Turn right. To turn right. Yeah. Mm, right. To turn right. Turn right. Yeah. You know Hang a Louie? Do you yeah, say is that turn left? Okay, someone knows <laughs> Hang a Louie! Oh, <laughs> Louie and Roger, oh. I guess. Last time no one believed me. Hang a Louie. You I know it. Yes! I'm never driving with an American <laughs> Canadian <laughs> navigation. Like, Who's Roger? <laughs> like, Roger, Roger, what's wrong? <laughs> Like we laughed so much. Ways that we say things in the different slangs, I really enjoyed doing that. That was a lot of fun. I think that's one of my favorite things about like meeting people from other countries is just like finding their different slangs and like mm -hmm. learning yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. So true. Yeah, it was like, we all speak the same language, but it's this type of slang and our different vocabulary is what mm -hmm. kind of makes it yours. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's really fun to kind of see what makes our English our English. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. It's like same, same, but different. Yeah. yeah. Same, same, but different. same, same. Different flavors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of fun talking with you guys. There was like some memorable ones. I loved Posty. I think, that, I think that's so cute. I just want to, like, since you said everything's with the IE, I just want to, like, not everything. Not everything. <laughs> okay. I just like, I just want to make these rhymes, like, the Posty ma makes a toasty or something. Like, hey. <laughs> it's so cute in Australia. You fit right in. <laughs> yeah. So, today we talked about differences in English between our four different countries. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. See you soon. All right. That's how y'all do it. Shout out to World Friends. Yeah, y'all get four nice looking uh, young ladies and y'all just make a quick video comparing and, and talking about the language and accents. And yeah, that's how you get. That's how you make it in life. That's how you that's how you, you know, what I'm saying appeal to the public right there. Throw the nice young ladies on the video. Ah, oh, man. World Friends. That's what I'm talking about. If y'all got some more videos from World Friends, please send it over so we can have some fun. Shout out to Terry for sending that one over. And, um, yay. Yeah, we're just here having fun, checking out something new, learning something new, hearing something new. Y'all know the vibes every single day. But I love y'all. Y'all drop a like on the video like they said. Oh, come on now. Drop a like. 
subscribe join the keep coming family and hey i will catch you beautiful people in the next one peace and love y'all